Okay then my friends, so now what I'd like to do is take this entire website and deploy the whole thing to Firebase so that Firebase is hosting our website as well. And when that happens, this public folder is the thing that's deployed to Firebase. So all of this stuff are right here. So we can see the web pages, the JavaScript and the CSS hosted by Firebase. So how do we do this? Well, all we need to do is come down here and say Firebase deploy like so and press enter. Now that might have taken a minute or two for you to do, it did for me, but now that it's done we can see that it's given us a hosting URL. So this is the link we click to go to our website. But before we do that I'm going to go over to Firebase and go to hosting over here and we can also see the details about our version that's currently being hosted by Firebase right here. You can see when we deployed it and you can see who deployed it, etc. So let me now try clicking this link so that it opens up and let's see if this website has uploaded. It has, it's a bit small because I'm not zoomed in, but let's zoom in and I'm gonna try to log in, Sean at the net ninja. Can I spell this? Absolutely not, .co.uk. And then the password is test123 login and hopefully we should be able to log in. I don't want to save that, but we can't actually see the tutorial requests. And that's because when we deployed our Firebase project, we deployed the whole thing, including the Firestore rules right here, which meant that these default rules were redeployed when we changed them earlier on. So we've changed them back now so that no one can read or write from the database. So we could change them from here again and then redeploy. Or if you want to, you could just go to your database over here, which is what I'm going to do, and then go to rules. And then we'll just edit these rules here instead. But going forward, it is always a good idea to keep these up to date as well. So if we change them here, we also change them over here as well. So that if we redeploy another version in the future, we're not going back to the old rules. So let me now just take off read right there and above that I'm going to say allow read like so. Now if I publish those I'm going to copy them as well and paste them over here just in case you want to deploy them again in the future that's fine but if we now publish this and go back over here and refresh then hopefully it should work and we can see all of those things there again. Now if I try to upvote something we can see that it does work. So there we go, we have now deployed our website to Firebase hosting as well. Now, if you do wanna learn more about Firebase and the different services it provides, I've got three whole playlists on this channel all about Firebase. The first one is Firebase hosting. The second one is Firebase Firestore. That's the database we'll be using for this series. And finally, I've got one on Firebase Authentication. So if you want to learn more about either one of those, then definitely check those out. The links are going to be down below. And also, we did use Vue.js sparingly in this course as well. If you want to learn more about Vue.js and Firebase together, I've got a whole Udemy course about building web apps with Vue.js and Firebase. So definitely check out that if you're interested. The link is gonna be down below. And by the way, I will be updating this one soon as well for the release of Vue 3. So then my friends, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this series. And if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot and it helps out an enormous amount. And if you do want to join the cause and support the channel, you can do by clicking the join button on the channel homepage or underneath the video right down below. You also get a little cool ninja badge next to your name in the comments for that. And it's 99 pence or cents per month. And I've also created several premium in-depth courses on Udemy. So the first one is Modern JavaScript. The second one is D3 and Firebase. And the third one is Vue.js and Firebase. So if you want to take one of those, all the links with the discounts automatically applied to them are going to be in the video description down below. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the very next course.